Hi guys, today I want to show you the books that I received from Penguin Random House SA or otherwise known on Instagram as Penguin Books South Africa. First, I want to give a huge thank you to Penguin Random House SA for these copies. I really cannot wait to start reading and reviewing them and all of my reviews will be on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Goodreads and my blog. I will leave all the links below. Now the first book is The Wrath of Wrath of Poseidon by Clive Kessler. Now this is an adventure fiction, um, a thriller and suspense. So this is my first time reading Clive Kessler and I really can't wait to start reading this book because the cover makes me think of that movie Fool's Gold where Matthew McConaughey and Kate Hudson were searching for a treasure at sea. Um, and the synopsis says that treasure hunters Sam and Remy Fargo went to Greece to look for a treasure, but soon they learned that they're not the only ones looking for it and it became dangerous. So this sounds really interesting and because it happens on sea and it has treasures in it I really like it so I have seen many people reading Clive Castler so I think that this book will really be good um, my first time reading these books so there's always a first time for everything and it's always good to start reading new authors because then you can discover new authors new genres and add to your TBR list and even your favorites so this book is about 400 pages, nice and thick, and the cover just once again, and it's, yeah, okay, that's it. <laughs> the next book is The End of Her by Shari Lapena, I really hope I pronounce it correctly, and this is a fiction thriller, suspense, and psychological thriller. My very first time reading thrillers. I've never read it before, so I think this book is going to keep me at the edge of my seat. It is about newlyweds who have twins, and then it a woman from Patrick, the husband, his past. A woman from his past comes and says that he has murdered his previous wife, and he says he did not. And now his current wife Stephanie doesn't know what to do, and. She feel she, she wonders if she made a mistake, she doesn't know. So even the synopsis is very is very short, so it's very mysterious. So I think that this is gonna be an exciting read and I'm gonna start reading this one first. And it says here from the best selling author of the couple next door. Now I haven't read that yet, but I think after reading this book I, I will read this book. So this, it says here at the bottom, the tension is high and remains to the last stunning page, the times. So I see good things coming. I see good things coming. Then the third book is a children's book and it is The Big Bird Battle by, it's written by Megan Furness and illustrated by Tanya Dunstan. And it is about Hardy Dars and Guinea Fowls that battle. And the illustrations are really fun and exciting. There are a lot of action. A lot of action going on. And the words are nice and big. So when children read it, it's it's easy readable and the pictures are very engaging and colourful. And my son already paged through the book and he really likes it. And there are certain pages that made him laugh and um, the because it's English and he is in grade one now this book enhances his English vocabulary and it teaches him to read so even these pictures makes it exciting for a child to read if they are probably if they may be discouraged by reading and it seems too hard for them giving them a book like this will make reading fun so I will be reading this to him, but also teaching him while reading so that he can read this himself when, when he's older and he can, he can read it by himself. 
And also here you'll see that they write the word red in red and they write the word blue in blue, which is also nice because it teaches children. It, it gives them that association with color and words, so I really like that. Then the last book is an Afrikaans book, but the English book is also available. I'm not 100% sure about the English translation, but if you search for this book, you will find the English one. It is my book where gevoelens. So I think that the English book might probably be my book about emotions. I'm not 100% sure, but if you're interested, you can just search it. This book is about a little girl. I think her name is... Sim okay, in Afrikaans it's Simone. So in English it will be Simone. And she experiences seven different emotions throughout seven days. And now, there's everywhere there are, okay, no, not, not everywhere, but certain pages, there are pop-up windows, very interactive pages. For example, here is one with like a little page that you can page. So that's cute. It makes reading fun because children like something with activity that they can be a part of. And now every page, every story tells about how she experiences her emotions and what she should do when she experiences it. So I think that this book is essential for children so that they can learn how to handle their emotions because there are no guidelines about emotions and children are not always sure how to handle it. So I think that this book is a very nice guide to help them with that. So thank you again Penguin Random House SA for these books. I really really appreciate it and all of these reviews will be on Facebook, Instagram, Goodreads, my blog and on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!